meet at the training hall. I don't think it's possible for someone to be as bad at games as you. Oh, come on, I'm not that bad. Your face is easier to read than a smoke signal. Anyone could beat you. Does that mean people can tell what I'm thinking even when I'm not playing games? Oh, no. Ah, oh, well, I wouldn't sweat it too much. It just means you're real, plain and simple. That's just the way you are, Miki. Whoa, hold it right there. What do you mean by that?
wouldn't be here without training. Now the advantage! Me to help. With pleasure. Don't get distracted. Double Focus blood. on the enemy. Oh, right. You want to get away? long as you're safe. My name is Victor Oakville. I'm a soldier with the Rasulian army. This is Miki Savister. And nice to meet you. I'm Fidel Camus. I teach swordsmanship in the village of Stahl. Camus? I knew it. Those techniques had to be the same as Daryl's. They certainly are. Although, if I had to guess, I'd say your style has also been influenced by him. Did you study under him in the army? Of course I did. How interesting. I never knew my master had a child. It's dangerous around here. Let me escort you to the next town. As representatives of Stahl, we're on our way to ask the king for reinforcements. As for why we're doing that, it's because Adelon recently tried to invade our village. I hate to sound presumptuous, but... Do you think you could take us to the person in charge of dispatching troops? We share both experience on the battlefield and a relation to the same individual. I'll take you to the capital, but I can't assure you of the outcome. Thank you so very much. Do you think the crown will help us? The timing is far from perfect, but if Mr. Camus were to put in a good word... What about old man Camus? Master Camus currently works in the capital as an advisor for Rasulia's military where he teaches the way of the sword. Within the army, his word is law. The old man's really that important now? He is. That is but one reason it would behoove you not to call him an old man in public. Save that for us. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. I'll work on it.
that's me, Doc, I take it? That it is. Oh, this light, it's stunning. It's also the gateway to the neighboring country of Langdok. If we weren't on this mission, I'd love to have a more leisurely look around. My duties require that I spend the night in this town. If you wish to follow me, you are more than welcome to sleep at the same inn. You can get us a room? Oh, we'd be positively overjoyed, wouldn't we, Fidley? You bet. <laughs> yes! with the... Ah! No good, I knew it! Huh? A customer? What business do you have with the beautiful and genius inventor Welch? Oh, you're not a customer? Well, then do I ever have the perfect job for you? I'm one step away from just about completing this amazing mixture of mine, but it definitely needs something else. And I know just the stuff. Here are the details. Don't just stand there. Get to work. Chop, chop. You know what to do. Step. 
step closer to becoming the creator of the all-time greatest items around! <laughs> Thank you so much for your help. There's no way I could have ever done it without you. I knew you'd pull through for me. Yeah, no doubt about it. Keep it up, because I'm counting on you, assistant number one. What timing? You'll be the perfect guinea pig! Um, food critic. Here, try this delicious juice recipe I've concocted. Don't be shy. It's got the Welch seal of approval, which is the best in the business. See the label? Go on now, down the hatch with it. Strange. It was downright ambrosial when I made it with fruit. Maybe there's a problem in the recipe? That has to be it. Hey, you there. You with all the frills. Congratulations! You're my second assistant. As your first duty, you can improve this juice recipe. This assistant number two? Your improved recipe? And you even brought me the ingredients? I knew I could count on you. Let me mix it right up. A recipe like this only comes around once every millennium. I knew I was right to entrust the homebody with a homey task, but don't think it's because I can't do stuff like that. No siree. Here, assistant number one, I made another go at this whole juice thing. You'll love it this time, I guarantee. left over from an earlier experiment.
one. Impeccable timing, as always. I need your professional opinion regarding a new field of research in which I've begun to dabble. It's something we simply can't do without in this age of the corrupt, mystical abominations, the war with Tracor, evildoers, and chaos. What's that saying? Axes speak louder than words. When faced with a deadly enemy, you need to make equally deadly weapons and armor. I want to give people the ability to do that in their homes, comprende? And the fact that you're a master swordsman is written indelibly all over your face. It reads, I can swing a sword with the best of them. <laughs> I mean, you wouldn't have it written all over your face if you weren't a man who knows his way around a blade, right? So you'll do it for me? are best left to professionals. If you want to know about weapons, ask a warrior. I'd ask myself, but I don't know a thing about fighting. Wait a second. Don't think you're the only one who has weapons, because I'm full of them. I've got smarts out the wazoo, looks to die for, and charm that'd melt your heart. In other words, if you and I work together, there's nothing we can't make. We'll be omnipotent. We'll have nothing to fear but fear itself. Exactly. Not so fast, mister. Don't let that go to your head. You may be assistant number one, but you're still just an assistant. Remember that. So sorry. No, it's my fault.
kill you to awaken a little slower? I was scared to death. Uh, uh, oh, my bad. What in the name of... I make nice and wake you since the day's getting on, and yet... It's really that late? Yeah, it is. Victor's gone. He went out a while ago. I see. Uh-uh. None of that now. Jeez, get going, get going! <sighs> okay. Now I can start. Good. Then I'll be waiting outside. Don't take long. As always, you're so cute when you sleep. But you're certainly not when you talk like that. <laughs> Are you good to go? Sorry for keeping you. Victor said he'll be waiting at the Western Gates. The Western Gates? Let's go there. Great. Sorry we're late. And late you are. Who might she be? This is Lady Brunelli, a signaturge from Langdok. Lady Brunelli, is it? Fiore Brunelli. You can just call me Fiore. Name's Fidel. I'm Miki. She is one of the most knowledgeable researchers at the Royal Institute of Signatory Studies. Langdok so kindly dispatched her in response to our own king's request for aid. What? You work at the Royal Institute? That's amazing! You're the envy of Signature just the world over! I'm hardly of that high caliber. No, 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 no! You truly are! Victor, is this the duty you were talking about? Yes, it is. I have been charged with escorting Lady Brunelli safely to our capital. But I know we're all anxious to get there. I'll explain everything else on the way. Our nation is currently at war with the neighboring kingdom of Trecur. I've heard a fair share of rumors about that. Things don't look good for us, as cries for support on the front line have reached the capital. So we're losing then? The reports remain unconfirmed, but it seems the enemy has developed a new weapon and is using it to great effect. A new weapon? Such as? I won't pretend to understand it but it can supposedly attack from great distances and is far more destructive than our most advanced signaturgy. A cryptic new type of weapon? <sighs> Sounds like a scapegoat to me. The fact that we're losing is true, and so is the fact that no signaturges in the field can discern why. And I've been called to figure it out. Our nation has always had a close and congenial relationship with the Eastern Kingdom of Langdok. Now we must call upon them for aid in unraveling this mystery as they possess the finest signaturgical research facility on the entire continent. I see. So that's how it is. <laughs> 